What's up guys, Peter here, back with another video, and today we're going to be giving all the details on so many new things that have been leaked about NBA 2K17 directly from this article. You guys may have heard some stuff, like we have to time our layups, or we have to basically aim our shots, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be telling you really what that means from this article, this is the direct source of the leak. The person who wrote this article actually got to play NBA 2K17 hands-on. And he observed a lot of things. This is a very good article uh, reporting a lot of different things. So if you could drop a like, that means so much. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. But let's get right into it. So uh, yeah, this article is really long. So I know you guys don't want to read it. I will be reading it. I'm just going to tell you what is important about it. So nothing really matters except for here. This is like almost halfway through the article already. And uh, basically saying that uh they're trying to make the blocks more realistic and that's what this is saying so uh, i guess they are i hope they are because there are times where you should be able to block a shot and you don't or you shouldn't be able to block a shot and you do specifically for like inside centers and stuff like that that's why inside well that's one of the reasons why inside centers aren't good this year this is changed a lot basically um you can steal a lot of passes now and i know in nba 2k 16 uh, I don't know because the servers are like not good and there's always that huge delay or very inconsistent delay which really makes it hard because you have to get the timing perfectly. In my career it's super easy to steal passes but basically they're going to make it easier to steal. So this is probably good for Park because I doubt they're going to get rid of that latency and uh, that's something they really have to do. But in the meantime yeah I think if you increase the chances that'll just make it a little bit better so maybe make that like timing gap a little bit bigger or something like that maybe like the higher your defense goes the more uh probability you'll have of stealing it so that's also a good thing that's in here oh okay so if you guys have not seen my video from earlier today uh it was addressing that 2k actually is taking out size ups now here is like it was confirmed in that screenshot it was a leak uh, so basically this is saying that they totally redid them and they did they're not even called size ups anymore So right here was talking about speed boosting Yeah, if you like went into the size up and broke out of it in an early stage You would speed boost or you would do something and that is definitely true So uh, basically you're gonna be able to cre recreate those but it's gonna be a lot different with like Whatever one-to-one -one responsiveness now I hope the responsiveness is better because of course 2k is mad delayed everybody knows that but yeah, they're redoing the size ups. Everything is totally different. If you want to know more about that, check out my earlier video. But uh, I think the reason they're taking uh, size ups out is one, uh, too many people are using them and it's too easy to do. If you didn't know already, LD was talking about increasing the skill gap uh, in between the players, especially for the esports, which is going to be a lot bigger this year. So size ups would not do that. And also size ups led to speed boosting and led to so many other things. So, uh, yeah, that's probably why they took out size ups. All right, so this is where people were talking about timing layups. So, basically, this is saying, yeah, you have to time it when shooting the ball and shooting out of the post. And you have to time layups properly as well. And uh, that's just, I mean, imagine, okay, if they make you miss green lights, that is just terrible. Like, that was a terrible decision for this year that was definitely lowering the skill gap because somebody can make a red release and miss a green release but anyway yeah imagine just missing a green layup that'd be so bad but anyway you do have to um time your layups so here's that aiming jump shot part so a jump shot will fly true only if you pull straight back on the right stick so basically you have to pull straight down and i, I think that's a terrible idea and that'll definitely i don't know i don't think that's a good idea it just makes it easier for modded controllers and stuff like that and um also I, nobody shoots with the right stick everybody shoots with x so i don't know how that's gonna work but shooting is x this year like you can shoot with x so i have no idea how that's gonna work and um it was in the league control so i'm definitely not gonna be shooting with the right stick like that's terrible like come on now here's where it's talking about basically on offense being able to control more how contact layups work and basically you'll be able to control this with the left stick Hopefully this is actually true because there are so many contact layup animations in this game that either always go in or never go in. Even if you have no inside or like completely have inside maxed. That's why a lot of people don't max their inside or a lot of people who did not max their inside towards maybe patch 4 when they started making 6-7s again. So 
just think about that and also this is talking about revamping the fatigue system so uh there isn't much fatigue in parks so i'm glad there isn't but uh basically if you play like quick game or something like that i guess you'll have more fatigue whenever i play a quick game with one of my friends i always turn fatigue off so i really don't care about that anyway basically it penalizes people more for sprinting more so basically it's saying that your success in the game will largely come down to your own skill level so that i hope is actually true because that's definitely not what nba 2k16 is it's basically just luck so yeah <laughs> they're like there's so many people that i'm just gonna start shooting contested shots now and i even do that on stream i'll just shoot a random contested shot and i'll just go in so i really don't want that to happen next year hopefully it doesn't oh my okay so um yeah basically this is confirming that you're gonna have to get badges in my career this year like you're gonna have to do all like fouling out of games getting all the badges everything's gonna be in my career this year so my career is not gonna be at all about what actually my career is supposed to be about it's just gonna be about fouling out of games getting badges i really did not like that system i know a lot of people don't like that because it's not even realistic why are you gonna file out of games to get better but uh anyway that's just confirming that that's what it's gonna be like next year so yeah here goes some more my career grinding i guess oh and this is actually saying that if you leave somebody open they'll make the three and if you contest it they'll miss that is huge totally different for nba 2k16 great to see so anyway that is about it for this article so many different things in nba 2k17 we're gonna have to get used to i'm really okay if this aim shooting like how is aim shooting gonna do with x i'm definitely not aiming sh like i'm not aim shooting with moving the right stick like that's terrible time layups no i don't really do layups anyway so it's whatever whenever i do a layup it's just because i didn't do a dunk so yeah what do you guys think i'm not happy about the um aiming shots at all other things of course they're going to be different and it's saying that it's going to be more realistic and a bigger skill gap but i think it's the wrong way to do that in my opinion by like having to aim shots or whatever obviously you have to give this game a chance anyway thank you guys for watching Drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.